In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise, that it may go well with you and that you may have a long life on earth. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up with the training and instruction of the Lord. Slaves, be obedient to your human masters with fear and trembling, in sincerity of heart as to Christ, not only when being watched as carrying fever, but as slaves of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart willingly serving the Lord and not men, knowing that each will be requited from the Lord for whatever good he does, whether he is slave or free. Masters, act in the same way towards them and stop bullying, knowing that both they and you have a master in heaven and that with him there is no partiality. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is faithful in all his words. The Lord is faithful in all his words. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is faithful in all his words. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is faithful in all his words. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. 
The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is faithful in all His words. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. Lord. <clears throat> Jesus passed through towns and villages, teaching as he went and making his way to Jerusalem. Someone asked him, Lord, will only a few people be saved? He answered them, Strive to enter through the narrow gate, for many, I tell you, will attempt to enter, but will not be strong enough. After the master of the house has arisen and locked the door, then will you stand outside knocking and say, Lord, open the door for us. He will say to you in reply, I do not know where you are from. And you will say, We ate and drank in your company, and you taught in our streets. Then he will say to you, I do not know where you are from. Depart from me, all you evil doers. And there will be wailing and grinding of teeth when you see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God and you yourselves cast out. And people will come from the east and the west and from the north and the south and will recline a table in the kingdom of God. For behold, some are last who will be first and some are first who will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Naridig na natin yung sinabi ng Panginoong Jesus, Ask, and you shall receive, seek, you will find, knock, and the door shall be opened to you. For the one who knocks will always have the door opened to him. Ano yung hindi sinabi ng Panginoong Jesus? Na kung halimbawa, kakatok nga tayo sa pintuan na nasa harapan, meron nga siyang bubuksan. Ngunit paminsan, yung binubuksan ay yung pintuan na nasa likuran. O kung hindi man, yung mga bintana na nasa tabi ng pintuan na nasa harapan. O kung hindi man, yung pintuan na iyon, yung lagusan na iyon ay masyadong makitid. Hindi tayo pwedeng dumaan o pumasok man. Sa ating Ibanghelyo ngayon, merong nagtanong sa Panginoong Hesus, Panginoon, kakaunti lang po ba ang mailigtas Ito po ang napakalinaw, napag-alaman nating katotohanan. God's will is to save us. God's will is to save us. Na iligtas tayo ng Panginoon mula sa kasamaan, mula sa ating mga kasalanan. Anong ibig sabihin na bawat isa sa atin na nandirito? Yun ay ang kalooban ng Diyos, balak niya tayong iligtas. Ngunit hindi lang yung nandirito, 
bawat isang tao, bawat tao, sa sangkalupaang ito, yun po ang hangarin ng Diyos na tayo ay Kanyang mailigtas. Every person in this world, every single person in this world is the subject of God's will of salvation. God is always willing, open, to invite us into His very person. Ika nga, <clears throat> merong hinandang espasyo ang Diyos sa Kanyang puso, sa Kanyang dakong loob para sa atin. But salvation is a two-way street. Kinakailangan din ng ating pakikilaho. Hindi lang yung hangad ng Diyos. God's intention is not the only factor. It requires our participation. Kaya yung napag-alamang katotohanan, God will never change in His desire to save us. He will not change in His desire to save us. Ngunit merong dalawang bagay na nagbabago. Una, yung ating kalagayan. At ikalawa, yung ating sarili. Our circumstances and ourselves. So when these two change, we can find that the door mentioned by Jesus in the gospel is not only narrow, hindi lang makitid, nakakandado pa. Hindi lang nakasara, nakakandado talaga. Merong bolt yung pintuan na binabanggit niya. Merong napakagandang kasabihan ayon kay San Agustin. Siya rong nagsabi nito, ang sabi niya, God who created us without our help will not save us without our consent. God who created us without our help will not save us without our consent. Paano natin maunawaan yung unang bagay na nagbabago, yung circumstances? Siguro sa isang totoong pangyayari, there are many stories that have resulted from tragic events. But this is one of the more poignant story. Minsan, August of 2013, no? meron akong kakilala, uh, nagtagpo kami, nagkita doon sa Pius XII Catholic Center. May simbahan doon ng parokyang Santa Maria Goretti. Hindi po ba? At nung nagkita kami, say, I said, Hi, hello, kamusta na? Oh, buti nandito ka, opo, oh, Father. Paalis na po siya, pauwi. And he told me, dumaan mo na ako dito sa simbahan, Father, dahil meron akong dinadarasal. So I asked him, oh, you should be praying about uh, world peace, no? Pray for me, opo, Father. Pero, you know, I'm praying especially for all those people whose loved ones died in that tragic maritime disaster. She was referring to the August 16, 2013 sinking of a passenger ship near the port of Cebu. No? Dahil yung barkong yun, sumalpok sa isang cargo ship. There were 750 passengers of that ship. 114 died. 23 were missing. Sabi niya, I'm praying for those people whose loved ones died in the sinking of that ship. Hindi yung yubao, kundi yung mga tao na naiwan, hindi sumakay, meron silang kakilala, meron silang mahal sa buhay na sumakay, nalunod, yubao, namatay, o hindi pa natagpuan yung kanilang bangkay. She was praying for those people. Dahil sabi niya, they may be angry, at that moment, at their loved ones who took that ship before the tragic event took place, and I pray for them because, sabi niya, they may always have thought 
that there would be time to make peace. Siguro may samang loob, merong hinanakit, no? And they may have thought there may be more opportunity to be reconciled. Di po ba? Kung tayo man ay nasa lugar na iyon, may sugat sa ating puso, merong hinanakit na ating dinadala, may kinikimkim tayong samang loob. Hindi agad-agad. Magpatawad. No? takes time for us to heal. So, those individuals may have thought there may be more opportunity to be reconciled, to say, I'm sorry, I love you, yet there was none. They will have to live with that for the rest of their lives, regretting, regretting. Kaya, yung kalagayan natin ng ating buhay, Nababago. Circumstances in our life change. What is possible today may not be possible tomorrow. The people whom we need to be reconciled will not always be with us. The people we want to thank or tell them that we love them could be taken from us in an instant. At kung mangyari yon, yung pintuan na yan, nakakandado. Wala na pong second chance. Wala na. But it's not only the circumstances in our life that can change. Mismo tayo nababago dahil sa ating mga pagpapasya. Hindi po ba? At pwedeng mangyari yan sa ating buhay mag-asawa. Pwedeng mangyari yan kung tayo ay nasa isang malalim na relasyon. And soon we can be living in a lifeless marriage, in a dead relationship. But God will never cease to provide good opportunities because His grace will never dry up. But we can. And when that happens, the door is locked. Sabi ko nga, may bolt yun. Mahirap na buksan. Kaya, ano yung bilin ng Ebanghelyo natin ngayon? Merong isang kawikaan sa Latin, madali nating matandaan. Carpe diem. Carpe diem. Samantalahin ang pagkakataon. Seize the moment. Seize the moment. Take advantage of each single day. The day is now. Mayroong kasabihan, good things come to those who learn how to wait. But wait. Better things come to those who make them happen. So if there is an open door in your life, walk through it. If you need to forgive someone, you need to seek forgiveness, do it now. Ngayon na. Hindi mamaya pa. Seize that moment. And if you need to thank someone or tell someone that you love them, now na. Sabihan na sila. Ipaabot sa kanila. God will never change. But our lives, our circumstances can. Kaya carpe diem, seize the moment, seize the opportunity, or live and die regretting. He who presents himself at the door of God's heart while thinking that that door should be closed to him has every hope of finding that door opened. Please stand. We may never come to God's table relying on our merits. We respond with faith to His invitation to all people to enter His kingdom with that humility we offer our prayers. Keep us humble in your sight, O Lord. Keep us humble in your sight, O Lord. That the members of the Holy Church of God may come to the feast of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Keep, Keep us, us humble, humble in, in your sight, sight O Lord. Lord. That governments of nations may respect religious freedom and allow peoples to hear Christ's invitation. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Keep us us humble humble in your your sight, sight, O O Lord, that we may take our Christian obligations seriously and strive earnestly to enter by the narrow door that leads to eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Keep Keep us us humble humble in your your sight, sight, O Lord, Lord, that those who are suffering in mind and body may accept their cross patiently. Let us pray to the Lord. Keep Keep us humble humble in your sight, sight, O Lord, Lord, that the faithful departed may be welcomed into the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Keep Keep us us humble humble in your your sight, sight, O Lord. Lord. Lord and Father of all peoples, we make these prayers in faith, seeking to respond to the invitation of your Son, our only Savior, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Friends, pray that your and my sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Uh, Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Heavenly Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith and his coming in glory. We await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of, of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the, in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is, is he who comes in the name, name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the, the highest. highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver, deliver us, us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accord with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Magandang tanghali po, magandang hapon, magandang buhay po sa inyo. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. The door of the sheepfold is Jesus himself. He is Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Now blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word and, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God.